Leanne Morgan finds comedy in the chaos of marriage and motherhood. She's a storyteller who draws from her experiences growing up in rural Tennessee, being married for over 30 years, raising three kids, and becoming a grandmother for the first time. When mom boy and his wife found out about this precious baby, they would say, their baby. <laughs> and we would say, our baby. <laughs> and then they started using words like boundaries. Now at 57 years old, Leanne Morgan's stand-up career is taking off. And she's just released her first Netflix stand-up special. They're going to have this precious baby, and they're going to be up all night. And that's going to go into weeks and months. And then my little daughter-in-law is going to start hallucinating. <laughs> and then she's going to wake up in the night, and she'll be breastfeeding a lamp. <laughs> and we'll see who's got boundaries. I sat down with her in New York City to talk about her unconventional comedy career. Most comedians get their starts in comedy clubs or in writer's rooms. You found your way to professional stand-up by selling jewelry, is that right? Yes, my darling. Okay, so my husband and I met at the University of Tennessee, uh -huh. and when we graduated, he bought a used mobile home business where he refurbished mobile homes and sold them. And he moved me to Bean Station, Tennessee, in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, and I start selling jewelry and you're going house to house doing this. I'm going house to house at night. My husband took care of the baby. And then I was supposed to be talking about jewelry and I'd schlep this big jewelry case around. And I didn't talk about jewelry. I talked about breastfeeding and hemorrhoids. And, <laughs> and I developed a shtick, really, an act. And women thought I was funny and started booking me about a year in advance. Wow. And that gave me the confidence. People would say, you need to be a stand-up. Is that what you wanted for yourself? Did you want to be a stand-up comedian? I wanted to be in show business and I thought I was funny. I always loved comedy, but I didn't know what that, you know, what it would end up. But stand up, I, I knew I could tell a story. Ladies and gentlemen, Leanne Morgan! After two decades on stage, Leanne's first special on YouTube has more than 50 million views. Her new Netflix special reached the top 10. My husband and I met, and I was so cute. And I was little, I had a little britches. And my thyroid was functioning. <laughs> And now, I truly believe he would not pull me out of a burning vehicle. Your family provides fodder for so much of your act. How do they feel about that? They feel fine about it now. Mm -hmm. When they were in middle school, my children said, do not speak my name. <laughs> and they also said, don't come up to this school with yoga pants on. <laughs> so that was a dry time for me. And my husband only one time has said to me, don't say that again. I said something about I wanted something, but it was a bad mobile home year. Uh -huh. And he said, I've always provided for you. Do not say that again. And it hurt me for him. And I've, I've never said anything like that again. But he doesn't care about <laughs> anything else. And in my twisted mind, I think, oh, I can lose 40 pounds in four weeks. Leanne's act is relatable and a reflection of her yeah. life. Comedy with a common touch. I've done every diet in the world. My mama and my sister and I took Dexatrim. Do y'all remember Dexatrim? Yeah, it was speed. We took speed as a family. They sold it on the shelves everywhere. We were all taking dope. I mean, that's, <laughs> and that's funny how things resonate with people because uh -huh. I've had more comments of people saying, oh my gosh, my mom and I took de Dextrim together. Yeah. My mama gave it to us and I was this big around, you know, and I was raised on far, by farming people and out uh -huh. in the middle of, we knew where our beef was coming from. I was tiny and then taking diet pills on top of that. <laughs> I would now, but I think my heart would flutter. Right, right. <laughs> I'm out here on the porch. And I'm looking rough. When COVID hit, Leanne was about to start a 100-city tour, and like many others, leaned into social media and cooking. You just mix all that together and you just chill it, and it's really good. I started talking about my recipes and taking care of my little mom and daddy. They needed me and what I was feeding them and my family, and it grew more than I ever thought it would. So that was a helpful thing, as horrible as all that was, I think it helped grow my audience because yeah. people were at home and... Yeah, and they gave them a point of connection. 
And, I, and people start making all this jello all over the United States. And I know jello is very divisive. <laughs> it's controversial. That's it's right. very controversial. <laughs> But where I'm from, in the you know, in the Middle Tennessee, we love a good gelatin yeah. salad. You yeah. know, with a little pineapple, uh -huh. a pecan, little cottage cheese, or cream cheese, little Cool Whip. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I that, know, that's Jeff. way beyond. I like, know. That's you beyond look, the jello. I know. I'm used to. I don't want to worry yeah. you, but yeah, uh, to us, that's a big. You know, yeah. it's nice to take to a church yeah. supper. The thing I really loved about your act is that there's no underlying political or social message. It really is just about the laughs. It's about finding the funny moments in family and growing older. And I understand how people want to do that mm -hmm. and, you know, do the comedy that way. But I just never written that way or ever thought that way. Plus, I thought, nobody cares what I think. And I, and, and I don't, I want it to be fun. I don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable. And But, yeah, that's how I don't write that way, you know. Mm -hmm. I probably don't read enough, Jeff, to know what's going on. <laughs> Leanne says this run of success could not have happened at a better time. She just signed on to star in a Will Ferrell and Reese Witherspoon comedy. And she's back on the road on a national stand-up tour this summer. The tour is called Just Getting Started. Is that how it feels? Yes, Jeff. Okay, when you're from the country like I am, you know, we're memals. We like to start cooking pinto beans and <laughs> wearing house dresses. Right. And I thought, I'm just going to bow out of this thing, and then this happened. Yeah. When I look back on it, because I've had television deals for sitcoms, mm -hmm. I've had four deals, and they wouldn't make it, my children were little, and I'd be devastated. And I look back on it now, and I think, oh my gosh, that was, that was not the right time. I got to raise these children in Knoxville, Tennessee, and then now, they don't need me like they used to, they still need me. Mm -hmm. And then this happened to me. At this time in my life, yeah. And I'm having a ball. I'm having a ball. And it's bigger and more wonderful and more special than anything I ever dreamed of. I love that she says your name with two syllables. <laughs> GF, was that a trip? Were you just laughing the whole Isn't time? Isn't she the best? And I gotta say, as part of her tour, she sold out the Grand Ole Opry, which is a big deal for anybody, but certainly somebody from Tennessee. Good for her. Yeah, she's something else. And that interview was part of our Arts and Culture series, Canvas. Meantime,